Hello, my name is Phil Forrest, and I am one of the managers in COSAM IT at Auburn University. This video will demonstrate the installation and configuration of the VMware View Client for use with the COSAM virtual machine pools that your instructor may have assigned you. The first step is to open a browser and navigate to https colon slash slash cosam dash view dot auburn dot edu. When you see the blue link for view client for Windows, click that and it will take you to the VMware website where you can download the VMware client. In this particular case, we're downloading it for a Windows 7 workstation. You may see other clients there for Mac and iPad and Linux, but we need to determine if we are calling from a 32-bit or 64-bit Windows system. We determine that by opening up the Start menu and right-clicking on the Computer option on the right pane. Once the System Properties come up, we look under System Type, and in this case, we have a 32-bit operating system. So I will download the 32-bit version of the VMware View Client. On the following page, scroll to the bottom, select the blue Download button, and then select Run when prompted. Select Yes from the User Account Control menu and the installation will proceed. Hit Next, accept the license agreement, and then select Next. Leave these options as they are. In the default View Connection Server entry field, type in COSAM-VIEW, that's V-I-E-W dot Auburn dot E-D-U and then select Next. Leave these options as they are. And you can also leave these options as they are. Click the Install button to complete the installation. The system will ask you if you could reboot right now. I suggest you do reboot right now as that will activate the uh, USB drivers if you have any USB devices attached to your laptop or your desktop. So once finish is selected, the prompt to reboot the system comes up. In this case, I will select yes. This test machine is rebooting. Okay, our system has rebooted and we are back at the desktop. I'm going to close the browser here and we'll see that there's the view, VMware View Client icon on the desktop. I'm going to double click that and the connection server is already preloaded for us. We'll hit connect. I'm going to enter uh, I'll be demo as a test account but in your case you would use your Auburn user ID for username and your Auburn password for password. Hit login and then you will see an entry of uh, different virtual machines that you could use. Most of you will only see the class icon for the class pool. Uh, just hit login and that'll take you right to the uh, virtual machine located in the OIT data center. And now the servers in OIT are preparing the virtual machine for our use. And here we have the desktop of the virtual machine that is exactly the same for every student who logs into the um, class pool. 
If you look under all programs alphabetically in the folders, you'll see COSAM software. There are a great many apps specifically tailored to classes you are taking um, in COSAM. You can scroll down and see bio, chemistry, mathematics, physics, and some general use programs under apps. The virtual machines have the ability to accept connections from USB devices that you may have, such as printers or jump drives, and you can verify what USB devices are discovered automatically by clicking Connect USB Device. Also, you can hide the menu bar that appears at the top of the VMware View client to get some extra screen space on the virtual machine. By, uh, you can do that by pressing the push pin on the far left. You can have the menu reappear by moving the mouse up to the top of the screen and then the menu will drop back down. You can log off the virtual machine just as you do with any other Windows 7 machine. Just hit the start button and then press log off. There are some other time saving shortcuts for using the VMware View client. If you've already established a connection previously to the class pool or any other pool that COSAM IT has operating, you just click the start button on your Windows 7 desktop, go to the VMware View client and look for the right tick mark. Move the mouse to the right and you'll see a list of the desktops you have connected to recently. Just select one of those desktop pools and it'll take you right into it where you just have to enter your password. Once you enter your password and press log on, it'll take you directly to that uh, desktop. Finally, I'd like to show you some of the methods for minimizing, maximizing, and working with the window associated with the view client. Here we have the desktop, the uh, virtual machine desktop. I can minimize the VM desktop, go back to my local desktop, and you can see the class pool is still active there at the, at the taskbar. I can exit full screen and go to a windowed view thereby looking at my local desktop and the remote virtual machine desktop at the same time. That's all there is to it. I hope this video improved your understanding of how to use the VMware View client. If you have any questions, please contact COSAM IT at COSAMHD at Auburn.edu. Thank you.